Also, the area of the square in Spanish town can be found in a similar manner since it has a similar shape as the football field. Therefore, the area of the Spanish town square would be 100 meters times 100 meters, which is 10,000 meters squared. We applied the same method to find the area of the Spanish town square, but notice that in this case, the length is the same as the width. Of course, that is because it is indeed a square, and so instead of using length times width, we use length times length as the formula. Consider a parallelogram. We know that opposite sides are parallel and equal, but that also seems like a rectangle. However, the difference between the two is that in a rectangle, all interior angles are equal, whereas in a parallelogram, only opposite angles are equal. This means that to find the area of the parallelogram, we use its base and its height. The formula for the area of a parallelogram is base times height. This comes from the fact that the parallelogram consists of two congruent triangles. Congruent means equal in size and shape. We know that the area of a triangle is half base times height. So if there are two triangles, the total area would be half base times height plus half base times height. Half plus half is equal to one. So the total area which would equate to the area of the parallelogram is base times height. For example, what would be the area of a parallelogram with a base five centimeters long and a height of 4.5 centimeters. Its area would be 5 centimeters times 4.5 centimeters equals 22.5 centimeters squared. A rhombus is a special kind of parallelogram. What makes it special is that though it has the properties of a parallelogram, all its sides are equal. However, it is still treated like a parallelogram. So if we want to find the area of a rhombus, we use base times height. What is the area of a rhombus whose sides measure 5 centimeters and height measures 4 centimeters? The area would be 4 centimeters times 5 centimeters which is 20 centimeters squared. A kite is another shape whose surface area we might be interested in knowing to estimate how much kite paper is needed to make it. The area of this kite can be easily derived using a formula. In finding the area of a kite, we use its diagonals. So, if we wanted to know the area of little Johnny's kite, whose diagonals measure 50 centimeters and 35 centimeters, we multiply the diagonals 50 centimeters times 35 centimeters and divide by 2 which would give us an area of 875 centimeters squared. <music>